How could life have first formed on Mars? Maybe with a flash of lightning. The spring of 2006. Even as some scientists are claiming Mars doesn't have lightning, Earth-based microwave detectors find it in friction-filled storms of red dust. But it's not lightning like we know it, associated with rainstorms. It doesn't rain on Mars. It's what's called dry lightning. And this dry lightning, or static electricity, could have been the trigger for Martian life. Once you have lightning, you've got a new source of energy that can affect your chemistry and, and alter uh, things in the atmosphere, even on the surface at some level. A famous experiment seeking to replicate the creation of life on Earth ran an electric current through a mix of water and common gases, creating a soup containing organic compounds and the building blocks of life, amino acids. By hitting things with electrical discharges, you can not necessarily generate life, but maybe make the preconditions for life. But did dry lightning help jumpstart life on Mars? Or did it kill the chance for any life at all? Lightning on Mars could create uh, things like hydrogen peroxide, which could then lead to other chemicals that would destroy organic material and sterilize the surface. Life-giving jumper cable or fatal electric chair? The jury is still out on what dust storm lightning has done to Mars. But what always happens with Mars is about the time we think we understand it, we discover new things that make us realize we still have a lot of mysteries to solve.